Good afternoon. Hello. I am Bill Stackman, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. It is my honor and pleasure to be here with you to celebrate the 96th Tap Day, a very special Mizzou tradition. We're here today to celebrate students, faculty, staff, and administrators for their extraordinary achievements in leadership, service, academic accomplishments, and their contributions to our campus. These people stand out for their resilience, vision, and leadership. Resilience means that they don't quit. It doesn't mean that they never fail. It means that when there are challenges, they find the strength to persevere and to press forward. In this, they have been a lesson to us all. Vision means that they ask the right questions. It doesn't mean that they have all the answers. Vision means they find hope for the future and spread the hope so that we too might follow it. They inspire us to action and they encourage us to do right. Leadership means that they hold us to high standards. Their leadership brings us together and helps us recognize the humanity in one another. Under their leadership, we can achieve more than we thought was ever possible. Because of their hard work, these individuals are now joining a long line of outstanding Tigers. We are proud to celebrate their accomplishments. I know that you will join me today in congratulating the new inductees and in recognizing their contributions to the campus community. It is now time to reveal the identity of this year's TAP Day initiates. A representative from each honorary society will make a brief statement about their organization and then present their new initiates. The first society to be recognized is LSV. LSV was formed in 1908 by a group of women students who were concerned about the status of women at the University of Missouri's campus. Andrea Brown, vice president of LSV. Andrea Brown will be presenting this year's initiates. Formed in 1908, LSV was created by a group of women concerned with the status of all women on the University of Missouri campus. LSV is dedicated to improving the status of women and is a high honor bestowed upon those who embody LSV ideals. Since its inception as an organization, LSV has inducted many influential people with a passion for women's rights. Officially founded in 1908, the founding women and LSV women throughout the years have made remarkable changes on behalf of women attending the University of Missouri. 
Through the collaborative work of LSV sisters, the University of Missouri brought the first female obstetrician and gynecological physician to the UMC hospitals and clinics. This act will be monumental in ensuring that women at the University of Missouri receive the necessary care that lended them their sexual and reproductive health rights. While this event occurred over 100 years ago on Mizzou's campus, sexual and reproductive health rights are still a topic of concern nationally and globally. Studies from the United Nations have shown that many individuals currently do not have access to the extensive sexual and reproductive health services and education that they need for a healthy life. The right to sexual and reproductive health ensures that all people, regardless of race, class, gender, sexual orientation, or ability, are given the right to life and health, the right to be free from abuse, the right to education, and exclusion of discrimination. Because the fight towards reproductive justice is intersectional, Black women have fought and advocated for their reproductive rights and autonomy for centuries. Black women have become have come together and rallied not only for their right to choose, but also for their right to raise their children within a society that is humane and equitable. Black women are nearly three and a half times more likely to endure the risk of death from pregnancy complications than white women. Black women are also 55% more likely to be uninsured than their white counterparts, meaning that they aren't able to receive necessary reproductive health services and abortion care. As LSV Violets, our job is to ensure that issues such as this one don't go unnoticed. In addition to raising awareness, I want to encourage all of you to become educated on reproductive justice and understand that sexual and reproductive health rights are human rights and impact all of us. So as of right now, I will begin to introduce LSV's current 2022-23 TAP class, and I am so honored to be, be I'm so honored to be presenting such incredible tabs and honor tabs and couldn't be more proud of their accomplishments and activism. So with that being said, our first tab that we will be introducing today is Lakinzi Bailey House. Lakinzi <laughs> was born in St. Louis, Missouri, but raised in Kansas City, Missouri. She is currently a junior at the Sinclair School of Nursing with a minor in sociology. Throughout her time here at the University of Missouri, she has obtained numerous leadership roles and continues to make an impact on those around her. In her free time, she enjoys any and everything creative, spiritual, adventurous, and also anything involving food. Lackenzie is also a business owner and CEO of her crystal jewelry business, Air Muse, where she has accumulated over 100 orders throughout campus. During the summer, she plans on starting her paid nursing externship with the University of Kansas Health System in Kansas City, Missouri. And if you run into her on campus, you'll probably be stunned by her radiant beauty and immersed into her contagious smile. Lackenzie is the sweetest person that I've had the pleasure of knowing and always has the best interests of others at heart. Please help me in congratulating Lackenzie one more time. <laughs> Our next tap that we have is Rachel Henderson. <laughs> Rachel is a senior here at the University of Missouri from Atlanta, Georgia. In May, she will be graduating with her bachelor's in journalism with a minor in sociology. During her time at Mizzou, Rachel has shown her dedication to giving voice to underrepresented communities as a broadcast journalism student with an emphasis in television reporting. She, released, she recently received the Hearst Journalism Award for her stories regarding local Columbia, Missouri affairs. Rachel has been involved with the National Association of Black Journalists, the Legion of Black Collegians Gospel Choir, the Delta Tall chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and was also the former alumni associate student board president. You may have seen her on the most recent episode of the college tour representing the University of Missouri. And despite her superstar resume and busy schedule, that never gets in the way of Rachel's warm heart as she always finds time to show love and support to her peers. After graduation, she will be working as a TV reporter in Kansas City, Missouri. In her free time, Rachel loves to go out to eat, watch movies, and go roller skating. That's Rachel Henderson. <laughs> Our next tap that I'll be introducing is Michaela Higgins. 
Michaela is from Memphis, Tennessee, and is a sophomore studying journalism here at the University of Missouri. She is currently involved in numerous organizations on campus, such as the Legion of Black Collegians, the National Association of Black Journalists, the Middleton Mentorship Program, the Homecoming Steering Committee, and also a member of Matchbook Marketing. Although oftentimes reserved, Michaela's impact as a leader is felt tremendously by her faculty and peers. She thrives when working in communities and always makes sure that everyone around her feels welcome. Her passion for learning and commitment to growth shines throughout her involvement and accomplishments. And during her free time, Michaela enjoys reading, baking, watching, and singing uh, competitions. Michaela Higgins. <laughs> Our next step that we have is Ember Kirkham. Ember is a junior in instrumental. Woo, yeah. Ember is a junior in instrumental music education major here at the University of Missouri, and comes from St. Louis, Missouri. They are a member of the Music Mizzou fraternity Sigma Alpha Iota, served as marching Mizzou's select band librarian, and all involved with several other ensembles within the Columbia area. If you haven't noticed already, Ember is extremely talented as a musician and multifaceted as they also play the clarinet, oboe, saxophone, and is currently learning the tuba and percussion. <laughs> when Ember isn't playing or creating music, they also love to crochet and read. And after graduation, Ember wants to become a middle or high school band director and make a long lasting impact on the world. Please help me in congratulating Ember. Our next tap is Carrington PV. <laughs> Carrington is a sophomore and broadcast journalism student at the University of Missouri coming from Cleveland, Ohio. She also has two minors in Spanish and criminology. Carrington has great passions for the advancement of the black community on Mizzou's campus and it shows in her participation and dedication to the Legion of Black Allegiance and the National Association of Black Journalists. She is, she is additionally a proud member of the Epsilon Psi chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated. And she is additionally a proud, sorry, and when she is not working or studying on campus, you can find Carrington either uplifting her community or simply being a joy to those around her with her humor. She spends her spare time relaxing, hanging out with friends, or reading. Please help me in congratulating Carrington Peavy. Our next tap is Sydney Perkins. <laughs> Sydney is a junior hailing from St. Louis, Missouri on a pre-law track, majoring in political science and black studies with a minor in journalism. Destined to change her piece of the world, she aspires to be a human rights attorney to help the underrepresented communities that are often scrutinized by the criminal justice system. Sydney is beginning this work within the community she serves now. Those communities include the Legion of Black Collegians, Alumni Association Student Board, Summer Welcome, even with a, and even within a project she created called Filling in the Space, which aims to encourage black and brown students to join highly recognized organizations on campus. She was also recently inaugurated as the first Black Vice President of the Missouri Student Association. <laughs> Period. Sydney's passions and determination makes her an unstoppable force to be reckoned with, and she is not slowing down anytime soon. Please help me in congratulations, Sydney Perkins. And for our next tap, we will be recognizing is Toy Webb. <laughs> Toy is a junior here at the University of Missouri from Kansas City, Missouri. She is currently in the College of Health Professions with the emphasis in health and wellness. She is an active and dedicated member of numerous organizations, including Case, Trio, and WOCA. Toy's giving spirit and down-to-earth personality makes others gravitate towards her as she continuously changes all environments she occupies for the better. Toy's positivity is light, 
and she intends to pursue a career within social work after graduating in the year of 2024 and has expressed great interest in assisting those in need of mental, emotional, and physical support. When she, when she is not working, she enjoys outdoor activities and spending time with her family and friends. Please help me in congratulating Toy Webb. And now it is time for our amazing honor taps. Um, our first honor tap is Erica Aaron. Erica is a native of Jefferson City, Missouri, and a graduate of Hampton University, where she earned her bachelor's degree in marketing. She has also earned her MBA from Roosevelt University and a certificate in corporate citizenship management from Boston College. Erica is currently the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Inclusive Engagement and Constituent Relations for the Division of Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity. And she continuously serves her community as a member of the Central Missouri Chapter of the Lynx Incorporated, the Central Missouri Chapter of Jack and Jill of America Incorporated, and also within her sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. In her short time at Mizzou, Erica has profoundly made an impact on our campus and within our community and she seeks opportunities to uplift the voices of the students, faculty, and staff that she represents. And in her free time, Erica enjoys engaging with her elderly father, her two teen boys, her pets, and also taking a dip in the ocean or pool as often as she can to relax and renew. Please help me in congratulating Ms. Erica Aaron. Our next amazing honor tap that we have is Remya Perinkery. <laughs> Remya is a native of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, and gained her bachelor's degree in psychology from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. She went on to receive her master's and doctorate in counseling psychology at Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. Remya is currently a psychologist here at the University of Missouri's Counseling Center and also the Nurturing Minority Wellness Program Coordinator. Romeo is also very passionate about creating empowering spaces for students of color in higher education. She has shown to be very intentional in the work that she does and constantly creates unique and transform transformative presentations to ensure the mental and physical health for students of all backgrounds on Mizzou's campus. And during her free time, Romeo enjoys baking, spending time outdoors, reading and cuddling with her pup. Please help me in congratulating Romeo Perinkery. And that is our amazing LSV 2020-22 tap class. Our next society to be recognized is Mortarboard. Mortarboard began in 1915 as the Friars Club, an honorary organization for women. Three years later, the Friars Club aligned with Mortar's Board, the National Women's Honor Society, though it now includes students of all gender. Grace Nielsen, president of Mortar Board, will be presenting this year's initiatives. Beginning in 1915 as the Friars Club, Mortarboard is an honorary organization for women. Three years after its founding, the Friars Club aligned with Mortarboard, a national women's honor society, and now it includes students of all genders.
coming today to honor these incredible TAPS. My name is Grace Nielsen, and I have had the honor of serving as Mortar Board's president for this past academic year. Our society has gone through many names, the Friars Club, Pi Sigma Alpha, and now Mortar Board. Regardless of the name though, our mission has always stayed strong. Yet in this era of falsehoods and dwindling commitments to one's belief or desire to do something new, how lucky are we to have found a few good people left? Mortar Board's values include scholarship, leadership, and service. Yet this is not all we are. We are a society for trailblazers, believers, dreamers, and doers. This year's TAPS embody and uphold these ideas and their personal commitments to make change and their eagerness to put those commitments into action. The individuals we are about to recognize serve their communities from the ground up with steadfast passion. They do so quietly though, understanding that the biggest impacts make the smallest noise. It has been my honor to watch each of them become the leaders, the fighters, the advocates, and now the friars that they are today. So with that, I will be announcing each of them individually. So please feel free to cheer, to applause, and celebrate each of them as they come on stage. Our first tap is Olivia Smith. <laughs> Olivia is a junior from St. Joseph, Missouri, studying English education. During her time at Mizzou, Olivia has been involved in the Bridge Student Advisory Committee, the National Alliance of Black School Educators, and is the undergraduate representative for the College of Education and Human Development, Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity Committee. Olivia's recommender says, during my time knowing Olivia, she consistently distinguishes herself by her commitment to diversity, equity and inclusion, academic achievements, and her spirit of collaboration. When I think of the future of public education, it comforts me to know that young professionals such as Olivia are planning to enter the field. Congratulations. Our next tap is Truman Goldsmith. Truman is a junior from Independence, Missouri, studying accounting, math, and economics. On campus, Truman is involved in the MU Chess Club, the Cornell Leadership Program, and Alpha Kappa Psi Professional Fraternity. Truman's recommender says, Truman is truly extraordinary, excels academically, serves others, is respected by his peers for his leadership skills, and has a strong moral compass. He is one of the top 10 students of, over, of the over 5,000 students I have worked with in my time in academia. Congratulations. Yeah. Our next tap is Thais Robinson. <laughs> Thais is a junior from Monroe, Louisiana, studying political science. On campus, Thais is involved in the Missouri Students Association, the Black Pre-Law Students Association, and PASS, promoting, advocating, sisterhood, and service. Thais's recommender says, Thais has consistently demonstrated strong leadership skills, unlimited talent, strong worth ethic, and a dedication to serving others. Additionally, and most importantly, as an African-American, she embraces the idea of being a role model for many of our marginalized students and regularly demonstrates what it means to work hard to reach your goals. Congratulations. Our next tap is Adam Klum. Adam is a junior from Moline, Illinois, studying business administration. On campus, Adam is involved with tour team, homecoming steering committee, and summer welcome. Adam's recommender says, Adam is selfless, kind, and a driven individual who, with, who will without a doubt leave this campus better than he found it. He has an incredible passion for making Mizzou a more welcoming, inclusive place for the better, betterment of our university and community as a whole. Congratulations, Adam. Our next tap is Sydney Lewis. Sydney is a junior studying <laughs> Sydney is a junior studying journalism from Minneapolis, Minnesota. On campus, Sydney is involved in Mizzou Student Media, Journalism Ambassadors, and the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Sydney's recommender says, Sydney amazes me with her passion, 
leadership, and what she brings to the table. She is pushing the limits on what is possible in student journalism, launching new products for all outlets, and being proactive in pursuing partnerships with identity-based journalism orgs. This is only the beginning of her work towards fostering leadership and innovation within student journalism. Congratulations, Sydney. Our next top is Evan Danaher. Evan is a junior from Lee Summit, Missouri, studying mechanical engineering. On campus, Evan is involved with the Interfraternity Greek Council, Mizzou Club Quidditch, and Sigma Phi Epsilon Fraternity. Evan's recommender says, it is rare to see someone like Evan volunteer so much of their time and be as selfless as they are. It is even more rare to see someone dedicate as much time as they do to their own accord and bring that kind of positive energy and dedication every single time. Evan exhibits a natural ability of inclusion, leadership, and maturity, and I have the utmost confidence that he can thrive and succeed anywhere he chooses to go. Congratulations, Evan. Our next tap is Holly Gary. Holly is a junior from Kansas City, Missouri, studying political communications and women and gender studies. On campus, Holly is the founding member of Sexual Education and Advocacy at Mizzou, a member of Tour Team, and Kappa Alpha Theta. Holly's recommender says, Holly is a scholar committed to deepening her understanding of the world, to learning to see the world in new ways, and to recognize how she can make change. She is driven, focused, and engaged in the world as a scholar and a leader. Congratulations, Holly. Our next tap is Brooklyn Baker. <laughs> Brooklyn is a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, studying ed elementary education. On campus, Brooklyn is involved in the Dorsey Leadership Academy and the National Alliance for Black Educators. Her recommender says, no one should underestimate Brooklyn's reserved composed nature. Just below the veneer of calm and quiet lies an ambitious and fierce individual who seeks opportunities to broaden her horizons and challenge herself. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Our next tap is Quinn Shepard. Quinn is our sophomore tap studying history and constitutional democracy from Lee Summit, Missouri. On campus, Quinn is a member of It's On Us, advocating for the prevention of sexual assault, a member of Missouri of Mizzou Students Association and the Kinders Institute Society of Fellows. Quinn's recommender says, Quinn is a wonderful person and a rare student. She is bright, positive, friendly, engaged, curious, concerned, and compassionate. In short, she is one of the few students who is constantly looking for ways to make herself better as a professional, a rare and valuable trait. Congratulations, Quinn. Our last student tap for the day is Madison Myers. Madison is a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, studying journalism and Spanish. Maddie is unfortunately unable to be here in person as she is interning and studying abroad in Barcelona, Spain. I know, right? <laughs> On campus, Maddie is involved with the Alumni Association Student Board, Kappa Alpha Theta, and Summer Welcome. Her recommender says, the consistency within Maddie's personality and life values is solid and unwavering. Maddie has poise and purpose written all over her and holds herself to a higher standard, a natural skill that only a handful of, her, of individuals her age have mastered. Can we all give a round of applause for Maddie? <laughs> Our first honor tap is Ginny Ramsire Winter. Ginny is the School of Social Work Associate Director of Doctoral Studies, the Founding Director of the Center for Body Image Research and Policy, the Faculty Co-Chair of the MU Status of Women's Committee, an Associate Professor, and the Co-Founder of Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, Awareness, and Action Committee within the MU School of Social Work. Ginny has been influential in the lives of social work students and non-social work students alike through her valuable classes, significant research, and overall accessibility to students who need support. 
Through her genuineness, wisdom, Jenny is a guiding light to all of those who know her and the embodiment of a friar. One of her students says, as a professor, Jenny is engaging, challenges her students to think critically, and not only respects that each student learns differently, but goes out of her way to make sure each has what they need to succeed. I became a social work student to learn more about how to advocate for communities, but Jenny single-handedly turned this curiosity into a passion. Congratulations, Jenny. And our last honor tap of the day is Anna Galicia. <laughs> Anna is the assistant director for the Office of Field Experiences within the College of Education and Human Development. In her short time at Mizzou, Anna has gone above and beyond to cultivate a community of care for everyone around her. Her mission to create a sense of belonging for everyone in Mizzou and Mizzou connected communities shows the Mortarboard values in action. Her willingness to represent the voices of, unheard, of the unheard in spaces they are traditionally silenced makes her a light among her peers. One of her students says, there is no one who will make you feel more heard, seen, and celebrated than Anna Galicia. Anna has been more than a mentor for, to me over the past four years. She has been a listening ear to rant to, a thoughtful mind to think through, a shoulder to cry on, a gut to laugh with, and a heart to trust in. She dedicates her life to the people, to people and to progress. And I'm leaving Mizzou knowing I want to be more like her. Congratulations, Anna. And if you all would now join me in celebrating the new Friars of Mortarboard. Our next society to be recognized is QEBH. Q QEBH is the oldest honor society at the University of Missouri, founded in 1898 by Dr. Royal Hill Switzler. Rachel Richardson, president of QEBH, will be presenting the initiates. Founded in 1898, QEBH is the University of Missouri's oldest honor society. Dr. Royal Hill Switzler sought a select group of students who would contribute to the university's well-being. To promote the university and to constantly be on guard on her behalf, Switzler said. Y'all are too sweet. Welcome everybody. My name is Rachel Richardson and I'm the current president of QEBH. <laughs> All right. It is very rare to find individuals whose hearts are truly genuine and bear no regard for recognition. However, the people who will be standing before you ready to be revealed to the world are true examples of what it means to be selfless servant leaders. You see, service is not defined by what you do, but how and why you do it. Service is a heart's posture. Some would even say it's a lifestyle of sorts. And QEBH calls upon exemplary individuals who boldly and vividly illustrate what it means to be better in their communities simply because it's right. Not because they seek glory and not because they wish for anything in return, but because we know the reward that comes from leaving each space that we occupy just a little better than we found it. As I look upon these 10 beautiful taps, I see the future of this university in their eyes and the fire of progress in their hearts. When this organization was chartered, people like me weren't even allowed on this campus, but here I stand a proud black woman. President, 
of the first secret honorary society at the University of Missouri. This is what progress looks like. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. We as a campus community have a long way to go. We attend a university that has failed students who look like me. It's failed my people. It's failed the LGBTQ plus community. It's failed women. It has failed those who weren't meant to walk these halls. We have been denied justice in the very moments that we needed it most. This is why we fight for this university. Not because we bleed black and gold, because I surely don't. <laughs> it's because I want those who come behind me to feel safe, heard, seen, and valued beyond measure. Therefore, <laughs> I charge you, students, faculty, and staff, to step up. Gone are the days where we sit and watch from the sidelines. Gone are the days where we pretend to hear students and then stab them in the back. Gone are the days where we fall and we fail to teach what is right because it makes us uncomfortable. Gone are the days where we fail to look outside our own egos. It's time we see the world for what it is and make moves to change it for the better. So look around you. If you have any sense of care for the person next to you, you will fight. You will love this university enough to critique it. You will love this university enough to change it. And you will love this university enough to dismantle the systems that inhibit positive change and do it with a smile on your face. With a compassionate heart and an open mind. I believe with my whole heart that this class will do just that. They will love this university enough to force it to evolve. They will serve this university with a passion and zeal for justice, with a commitment to excellence, without a shadow of a doubt. This class will lead this university into a future that serves and protects every student that walks these halls. Now, without further ado, I would like to present to you the QEBH TAP class of 2023. Don't they look beautiful, y'all? Oh my God. That's excellence right there. All right. First, this Houston, Texas native serves as a professor in the Missouri School of Journalism where he teaches investigative reporting. He exemplifies what it means to be an ethical journalist through his telling of stories that are otherwise overlooked. His passion for highlighting the truth and only the truth makes him a champion of causes. Through his work in his field, this tap knows what it means to learn, actively grow, and to push the envelope. It is an honor to recognize Mark, Horvitz. <laughs> this honor tap from Chicago, Illinois, <laughs> serves as an instructor in the Sinclair School of Nursing. She has made a mark on her students due to her genuine heart and passion for student support. This honor tap has shown her commitment to serving the students above all else. Her bubbly and uplifting personality alone sets her apart from her peers, but it's her intentionality that brought her here before you today. It is a pleasure to celebrate Miss Crystal Barnes. <laughs> Our last honor tap is from Miami, Florida, and she serves, she serves as a hall coordinator within MU Residential Life. She has a giving spirit and an even bigger heart. This tap continuously strives towards a better tomorrow, and she measures success not by the quantity of her possessions, but by the quality of life. With this, she actively works to help her peers develop the same mindset and gives freely to her campus community. It is a privilege to honor Miss Jessica Sherry. <laughs> 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 
Now it is time to reveal our undergraduate taps. First, this St. Louis native is selfless <laughs> beyond measure, measure. His heart for putting the needs of others before his own is admirable and makes him a champion of causes. Through his involvement in Mazuthan, he has shown that the gift of charity is one of our greatest weapons in this life. We know that this tap will have a burning passion for pouring back into the communities that have helped him flourish. Please give a warm welcome for Kyle Haviland. <laughs> All right. This Kansas City native <laughs> is authentic in every sense of the word. In every arena he occupies, he brings a sense of honesty and transparency that draws others to him. Through his involvement in the Zeta Alpha chapter of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the Association of Black Psychologists and Mizzou Black Men's Initiative, this tap exemplifies what it means to have a heart of service. He pours back into his community in immeasurable ways, and we are confident that he will bring this same vigor for service into QEBH. Everyone, please give it up for Elijah Hudson Moore. Next, again, this Kansas City native is unwavering <laughs> in all of her efforts. This tap knows what it means to give fully of herself in hopes that others will feel seen and heard. With her involvement in organizations like Minority Association of Pre-Health Professionals, promoting and advocating sisterhood and service, and the Delta Tau chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, she is always advocating for and uplifting her campus community with might and valor. Please welcome Michaela Hill. <laughs> Next. This Jefferson City native is a kind, but above all, an influential individual. When she speaks, she speaks with conviction and power. Her kindness and compassion speak volumes and permeate every room she enters. This tap knows what it means to have a heart for service without expecting anything in return. Through her involvement in organizations like Compassion Mizzou, Pause and LBC Gospel Choir. <laughs> this tap is a light to all and we are confident that she will lead with a kind heart and a willing spirit in this great society. Show some love for Dina Tesfai. <laughs> this Seattle native <laughs> is known as a friend to all. His ability to form meaningful connections with everyone he comes across is a quality that is unique to him. Serving in organizations like Tour Team and the Alumni Association Student Board, this individual lights up a room the instant he enters it. In other words, you can't help but smile when you meet him. <laughs> we know that this tat will serve as a glue for this class and will always promote positivity. Please welcome Kiave Hunter! This Cincinnati native is an uplifting spirit. Yeah, is an uplifting spirit in every way. This tap embodies what it means to be a light and beacon for social change, even when it means going against the grain. With her involvement in spaces like Global Brigades, Undergraduate Women in Economics, and the Center for Academic Success and Excellence, she has proven to be a trailblazer in her own right. We know that this tap will strive towards a better tomorrow and help lead this class beyond the status quo. 
please give a warm welcome to Miss Carly Boyd. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, this Atlanta native is, <laughs> is a force to be reckoned with, serving in leadership roles in organizations like the National Association of Black Journalists and Mizzou Black Women's Initiative, along with being a member in organizations like the Alumni Association Student Board, this sophomore has proven herself to always be one step ahead of the crowd. Her passion for service and personal development sets her apart from her peers substantially. She will go on to be the future president of this great society, and we have full confidence that she will take QEBH to new heights during her term. Last but not least, welcome Miss Bethany Cates. Let's give them a round of applause, some energy, yeah. All right. Woo. Our next society to be recognized today is Rollins Society. Established in 1994 by the University of Missouri Graduate and Professional Council, Rollins Society recognizes outstanding graduate students. Jessica Osaze, president of Rollins Society, will be presenting the initiates. Established in 1994 by the Graduate Professional Council, the Rollins Society honors graduate and professional students at MU who have significantly advanced the well-being of self-defined communities beyond the scope of their academic work. Each of these TAPs has made contributions above and beyond the expectations of graduate students, and each of them embodies, through their actions, our society's watchwords of duty, faithfulness, and leadership. I am Jessica Osaze, the president of the Rollins Society, here to introduce to you the 2023 class of the Rollins Society. Our first tap is Faith Anekulu from San Diego, California, a doctoral student in chemistry. Faith is a mainstay in her department, leading the charge to negotiate salary raises for graduate students and in programs hosted in the Division of Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity. Notably, her leadership is evident through her teaching and advising in STEM Corps, 
a free K-8 grade STEM education program that hosts half-day camps tri-annually for students from underrepresented backgrounds, rural areas, and low-income families. As an instructor, Faith hosts exam review sessions outside her normal office hours and supports her students by attending their programs and events. One student wrote, I loved coming to lab because of her. I wish I had her as my TA for every camp class. Described by a nominator as having a demonstrated passion for closing the achievement gap and promoting science literacy among all students. Faith is a fantastic teacher, researcher, and science educator. We welcome Faith to the Rolling Society. Our next stop is Mary Dixon Amagada from Ogbeni Ama by Yelsa State, Nigeria. A master's, a master's student in health informatics, a faculty member described her as among the top 5% of graduate students with whom they've worked. As a research assistant with the Peace Studies program, Mary teaches undergraduate French courses and spearheaded the first international conference for the program featuring speakers from across the globe, while also serving as a translator for CAFNA. Dedicated to the well-being of, stu of graduate students, Mary is a leader in five organizations, helps organize the annual Africa Fest, and is a student member of the Student Health and Wellbeing Committee. Possessing an ability to inspire and motivate others, we welcome Mary to the Rollins Society. Our third tap is Chidima Vivian Hafner from Onisha, Nigeria. A doctoral student in medical pharmacology and physiology, Vivian has taught over 300 undergraduate students and is a, is a leader at the local, national, and international level. Her mentoring can be seen in the hallways and campus in her driving new students to the grocery store all the way to mentoring graduate school applicants from Africa through virtual webinars and resume preparation. Most recently, she formed a network for young mothers, initiating two adult counseling groups based on peer support and runs a resource collection, cribs, clothes, diapers, etc., for graduate student parents in her department. Described as a great force for women in science and one who sees the invincible burdens of others, we welcome Vivian to the Rolling Society. <laughs> Vivian is currently out of the country, but we celebrate her virtually. Our fourth tap is Melissa Horner from Bozeman, Montana. A doctoral student in sociology, Melissa is relentless in her efforts to increase awareness of indigenous issues. Serving as president of Four Directions, Indigenous Peoples and Allies since fall 2020, Melissa spearheaded efforts to raise over $20,000 to fund an artist in residence for the painting of a mural in the student center. Melissa coordinates Native American History Month events and organizes an ongoing film series with Ragtag Cinema. Receiving rave reviews for her teaching, Melissa has recently been asked by her associate dean to author a new introductory course to lay a foundation for the Indigenous Studies minor. One nominator generously writes, Melissa is the best thing that has happened to the indigenous MU scholar community. Welcome, Melissa, to the Rolling Society. <laughs> Our fifth top is Andres Mesa from Medellin, Colombia. 
a doctoral student in rural sociology, Andres is dedicated to the Latinx graduate, undergraduate, and immigrant communities. A Fulbright scholar, Andres's work with the Cambio Center includes organizing an annual multi-state conference, bringing together students, researchers, practitioners, and community members. Most recently, Andres helped establish a new intercampus at the next minor between MU and the University of Missouri, St. Louis, which seeks to promote a dialogue between our future scholars and the growing communities of Latinxers in Missouri, the Midwest, and the country at large. Described by one nominator as a community builder, another supporter adds that Andres actively creates spaces where people can come together to learn and flourish. Andres, we welcome you to the Rolling Society. Our sixth stop is Blessing Okafo from Umoji, Anambra State, Nigeria. A doctoral student in communication, it is difficult to identify a graduate space on campus that Blessing has not touched. The recipient of numerous awards and honors at Mizu. Blessing is currently the president of Mizu 2 an organization that connects the spouses of Mizu's international students with the community via skill training workshops. Through Mizu 2, Blessing led driving workshops resulting in 20 individuals passing their driving test. One supporter writes that Blessing is always looking for how to make a remarkable impact in the Mizu community. Blessing holds leadership positions in GPC, as well as programs through the graduate school and IDE, while also teaching public speaking courses and organizing a six-part bootcamp series to help mentees successfully apply to graduate schools and prestigious fellowships. Another supporter states, Blessing's name is truly reflective of who she is to the many communities that she has served. We welcome Blessing to the Rolling Society. Our seventh top is Parker Owens from Noel, Missouri. A second year law student, Parker was recently re-elected to a second as GPC president, where he works tirelessly to enhance the experiences of all Mizu graduate and professional students. Evidence of Parker's compassion for others is shown through his active involvement in the law school's veterans clinic and his support of students in financial need through the GPC Financial Assistance Fund. An instructor in the Trueless College of Business, a leader in the Mizu Student Bar Association, a member of the Intercampus Student Council, and a law school ambassador. Parker is also a student, a husband, and a social media influencer focused on his passion for Legos. A supporter writes that Parker has a test for life and its experiences unrivaled by most. Welcome, Parker, to the Rolling Society. Our eighth and final graduate student tab in this year's class of the Rolling Society is James Saltart. from Columbia, Missouri. A master's student in educational leadership and policy analysis, in his professional capacity, James serves as the coordinator of alumni and student programs for the Mizzou Alumni Association, where he plans and executes large scale programming like Tiger Walk, Senior Send Off, Mizzou 18, Mizzou 39, and Hall of Fame. Described as an unsung hero with a passion for inclusivity, James spearheaded efforts to ensure our traditions, events are inclusive, 
such as acquiring wheelchair accessibility, a sign language interpreter, and closed captioning. In this vein, James also created an initiative to celebrate first-generation students, including graduates, including that graduates can now buy first-generation stoles to wear at commencement ceremonies. James is an important connector between undergraduates and graduate current students and alumni. A student supporter writes, in my time spent with James, I am reminded continually of what a commitment to public service and dedication to the welfare of students means in practice. We welcome James to the Rawlings Society. Please keep the momentum up for our first honor top. Our first honor top is Jen Brown. Thank you. Director of Access and Outreach Initiative, K16, within the Office of Academic Access and Leadership Development for the Division of Inclusion, Diversity and Equity. Jen utilizes her relationships and experiences to increase educational access and professional and personal development activities. We are grateful for her service and for the opportunity to welcome Jen to the Rolling Society. Our second tab is Dr. Wilson Maji, Associate Professor in Health Sciences and the Master of Public Health Program. Currently on Fulbright Fellowship, spending 10 months in South Africa at the University of Western Cape. Dr. Maji's research centers on youth as he works to create sustainable real world community health initiatives. We are proud to name Wilson a member of the Rawlings Society. <laughs> Wilson is currently out of the country, but we celebrate him virtually. Distinguished members of the Mizu community, I present to you the Rawlings class of 2023. The next honor society we'll recognize today is Mystical Seven. Yeah. <laughs> Mystical Seven recognizes and promotes leadership, service, integrity, and scholarship. Naya Fritz, president of Mystical Seven, will be presenting. Yeah. Naya Fritz will be presenting the initiatives. Thank you. One of the oldest societies, Mystical Seven, recognizes and promotes leadership, service, integrity, and scholarship. They honor students and faculty of remarkable character. It's a place for those who will pursue uplifting platforms instead of things that are popular for a short moment. The people of Mystical Seven seek goodness, not because it is loud, ambitious, or popular, but because being good is fundamental to a mystical being.
MPU. Firstly, I would like to express how much of a privilege it is to be here again celebrating and acknowledging ground-shaking, barrier-breaking leaders, and I want to thank you all for joining us in this celebration. This year's Tab Day marks the 116th year of Mystical Seven's public existence. But before I name the initiates of Mystical Seven, I would like to take a moment to recognize both the active members of our society and most importantly, our student body. To each and every one of us on this stage, being accepted and attending Mizzou is an answered prayer or manifestation. Attending a prestigious university such as the University of Missouri is not only an honor, but a privilege. Every member on this stage ran across this state, ran across the columns their first year with bright eyes and trailblazing eyes, breaking, general cur breaking generational curses, escaping harsh realities, and accomplishing dreams that never left some of our ancestors' imaginations. We know Mizzou prides itself in advertising its family-like environment. Being responsible for housing and feeding over 30,000 students, this institution acts as a parent for its students. This means insurance, ensuring their safety, caring, catering to their needs, and supporting their many changing endeavors. In a lot of ways, this university does just that for its children, and we thank you. But in even more ways, this university leaves making this house a home, a responsibility for its black and brown children. Every student here has dedicated endless nights, sleepless nights, difficult days, to improve in communities that Mizzou continues to traumatize, disregard, and neglect. But <laughs> let me stay in a child's place. The very students who have the least to give continue to put in the extra work to fill the same cup that continues to drain us year after year. But let me stay in a child's place. We make this house a home, yet we continue to get treated like the ugly stepchild as we continue to sweep the disrespect, discomfort, and lack of accountability from our parents under the rug. Mizzou, now we are suggesting that you find a new Cinderella because, or you begin to reciprocate our energy because we are done being IDE's dirty work as you continue to use us for diversity quotas and bragging rights. One of the things that binds us at seven is our enthusiasm for a better purpose. We are descendants of melanated resiliency and perseverance. We continue to work in community uplifting spaces. We are committed to both our time and mental health, invested in, in spaces such as ALAS, Legion of Black Collegians, Zoo Soul, Mizzou Black Creatives, Cutie Pock, and others to create an inclusive and empowering culture for our co collegians. We do this while we grieve for our loved ones back home, work extra hours to pay for school, and being uncomfortable in our own skin as we try to pursue our education. Mizzou, we've made this house a home through selflessness and sacrifice. We've conveyed our anxieties and fears to you out of love. It is out of love for our community, love for ourselves, and love for our school, our home. Mizzou won't ever grow or evolve without having conversations and including students like the ones on this stage or and in this very building. As long as you continue to avoid these dialogues, Mystical Seven will be planted in advocacy and service in our hearts and stand for the ones you continue to neglect. We are excited to introduce our new members who will join us in fighting for the unheard. Y'all ready? This junior tap amplifies what it means to be part of something bigger than himself. He is paving a legacy for himself, only using a couple words and images, creating beautiful art that reflects both his advocacy and creativity. But the way he is able to turn a blank canvas into a masterpiece proceeds beyond graphic design. He illuminates and radiates confidence and releases an aura that makes people comfortable with themselves. His authenticity and calm collective manner draws light to him in a room of darkness. Mystical Seven sees you, we hear you, and we acknowledge you. I present to you Tyson Strong Jr. Tyson Strong Jr. 
is a junior from Kansas City, Missouri, studying business administration <laughs> with an emphasis in marketing. Tyson is involved in Mizzou Black Men's Initiative, Legion of Black Collegians, and the Black Culture Center. Welcome to our family, Tyson. This junior is dedicated to serving, servicing the students who are part of the Latin American community and providing a setting that is both secure and welcoming for them. She treats everyone as if they are a part of her family and makes sure that her love and generosity are shared with everyone she connects with. Her enthusiasm is contagious and she has the ability to captivate everyone with it. She is the co-president of the Association of Latin American Students and founder and president of the Association of Latino Professionals for America, along with being a tour guide for tour team. As a leader, student, and overall amazing person, you are truly the superhero that Mystical 7 needs. I am happy to introduce our junior tap from Kansas City, Missouri, Joanna Rodello. This next junior tap is the embodiment of what a leader is. She has been an active member on this campus, creating spaces for people who have been neglected, disrespected, and unwelcomed. She has welcomed them with open arms, a shoulder to cry on, and a vocal point for their experiences on campus. Her time, sweat, and tears have gone into creating a more diverse and welcoming environment for students like us and future generations through organizations such as Forefront and Queer and Trans People of Color. In a world where is it where is common to speak over others, she chooses to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. Mystical Seven sees you, we hear you, we love you, we acknowledge you. We are more than honored to introduce you to Jay Ellis Jones. Jay Ellis Jones is a junior from St. Louis, Missouri, studying psychology with a minor in Korean studies. This junior tap is a man of true action. His rare mindset never allows him to leave a conversation with simple ideas. Instead, asking, what is the next step? This tap is, a, or, is an organized, tactical, and empowering force. His dedication and passion exudes through his interactions and his involvement. His work continues to go beyond Mizzou as he works with various organizations such as City of Refuge, Adaptive Gymnastics, Physical Therapy, and Mizzou Students for Justice for Palestine. We, Mystical Seven, acknowledge and complement these characteristics, believing that one of the ways leadership starts is with kindness. Welcome Yasir to our Mystical family. <laughs> Yasir Al Rai. Yasir Al Rai is from Columbia, Missouri, studying biology with a minor in psychology. Our next junior, our next junior tab defines what it means to be a community builder. Since the moment he got to campus, he saw a space that was empty and dying and gave life to it while healing and navigating life as a young black man. He has bounced back from things that people have drowned from. He has defined the odds and while doing so has left a mark and legacy on the land we stand on and the people that inhabit it. He is a kind and thoughtful addition to his community, always willing to lend a helping hand in spaces such as Zoo Soul, United Ambassadors and LBC Gospel Choir. His character is deeply appreciated and something that the Mystical Seven values. I reveal to you our junior tab, Dante. <laughs> Dante is from Chicago studying physics with an emphasis in material science. Our next junior tap acts as a vessel and key component to the experience of many students on our campus. 
He has poured time, love, and energy into providing resources, opportunities, and safe environments for underrepresented students. He relentlessly pursues everything in life as his determination inspires those around him to do the same. In spaces such as BBSA, LBC, True Last Study Abroad, and Residential Life, he acts from proud faith and wisdom, illuminating a presence that can easily place a smile on the faces of many. May you meet our next junior tap, Mark Hood Jr. <laughs> Mark Hood Jr. is from Kansas City, Missouri and studies business administration, finance, real estate, and pre-law. I agree. All right. The final, but certainly not least, of our undergraduate TAPS continues to be a source of insight and leadership for people around her. Everything that is associated with this woman strives and develops at an astounding rate. Her peaceful and caring demeanor inspires the group that she joins, such as LBC Gospel Choir, AASB, NSB, and DSA. As a result, our entire campus is filled with great waves of optimism, which she is responsible for spreading. Please welcome into our family, our sophomore tap, Udita. Udita is from Kansas City, Missouri, studying counseling psychology. Family. Our first honor tap is to be to be recognized as one who, no matter where he is, maintains an atmosphere of genuine compassion and tranquility. His students gain the self-reassurance they need to present what they produce because he places a strong emphasis on maintaining an inviting atmosphere for those around him. His work on campus provides a creative outlet to many, and his passion for the arts makes Mizzou not only a school, but a home. His talents and expertise make our campus that much more vibrant and inclusive. By nurturing the talents of young creatives, he has also ensured that it will, it will continue to be such a place in the years to come. Please give a welcome to our honor tap, Brandon Riley. Yeah. This honor tap, words of wisdom, gently remind us all to never give up during trials and tribulations. This tap acts as a mentor, brother, and friend to many on this campus, deeply impacting the everyday lives of the ones connected to him. In difficult times, he always provides a shoulder to lean on, invaluable advice, and profound wisdom. Because of this, he may be known to, by many, but remains humble and continues to selflessly serve the community. We thank you for always providing support to those who need in need. Your impact is not insignificant and has not been unnoticed. Welcome Stephen Qualls to our mystical family. This honor tap has a special way of providing love to new students, encouragement to returning students, and happiness to her fellow staff. This woman recognizes each person for who they truly are, meets them wherever they are, and prepares food with care and love, and then sends them on their way. The captivating and energetic nature of this tap ensures that every interaction with her is very well appreciated. She pushes herself despite early mornings, long days, and unpleasant situations. And she continues to give a piece of herself to make other people see, feel seen, heard, and appreciated. Despite these challenges, she continues to contribute a piece of herself to students' daily morning routine. Give a warm, welcoming hand to our honor tap, Adela. <laughs> Oh, 
Our last Honor TAP's dedication to our university has not only been an inspiration, but deserving of recognition and admiration. As she continues to act as an advocate and fight for students to chase their dreams in the medical field, we are standing behind her. As she continues to mentor students and take on more roles than she can count, we are standing behind her. As she feeds our community with the same hands that she feeds her own children with, we are standing behind her. We support you, we encourage you, and we are fighting for you. Welcome to our family, Andrea Simmons. Please give another hand for all of our new initiates into the Mystical Seven family. The final honorary, honorary to be recognized today is Omicron Delta Kappa, ODK. ODK was formed at the University of Missouri in 1933. Members are selected on the basis of leadership, scholarship, character, and service. Isabel Borkard, president of ODK, will be, be pre presenting the initiates. The National Leadership Honor Society, ODK, strives to meet the goals of our founders to recognize those who have attained a high standard of efficiency in collegiate activities and inspire others to strive for noticeable achievements. The Society brings together the most representative students of all phases of campus life to create an organization that helps mold the sentiment of the institution on questions of local and intercollegiate interests. Hello, my name is Isabel Borkard and I am the current president of the Alpha Z Circle of Omicron Delta Kappa and thank you all for joining us today. Omicron Delta Kappa, the National Leadership Society, was founded in 1914 at Washington and Lee University in Virginia by 15 students and faculty leaders. In the tradition of the idealism and leadership of George Washington, the founders formulated the idea that leadership of exceptional quality and versatility in college should be recognized, that representatives in all phases of college life should cooperate in worthwhile endeavors and outstanding students, faculty, and administrative members should meet on a basis of mutual interest, understanding, and helpfulness. The motives that guided the founders sprang from a desire to bring together leaders in the various phases, phases of college activities in one body for the general good of the institution. They were convinced that such an honor society properly conducted would offer maximum opportunities and experiences for the campus. It would also serve as a cooperative effort for more effective leadership and service in the purposes, interests, and needs of the institution, and the improvement of the unity and learning and citizenship responsibilities. In 1933, the University of Missouri Circle of Omicron Delta Kappa was founded, and since then, ODK has been recognizing students for excellence in the five major phases of campus life, academic scholarship, athletics, campus and community service, journalism, speech, and the mass media, and creative and performing arts. ODK places an emphasis on the development of the whole per person, both as a present member at the University of Missouri and as a contributor to the better society. 
Our TAPS understand that the self is a composite of the hand, the heart, the spirit, and the mind, and today we will publicly, rec publicly recognize these members. Each year, Omicron Delta Kappa has the honor of welcoming new members into our circle. Every member undergoes a rigorous application process, which is completely blinded, meaning our applicants must rely on their merit alone. This year, the Alpha Z Circle is, hap is happy to welcome 14 newly TAPS members and two honor TAPS into our circle. These students distinguish themselves as some of the as some of the strongest Mizzou leaders within multiple areas in which they personally ex excel and better society as a whole. We are honored to reveal them to you. Omicron Delta Kappa is proud to tap a business administration major with a minor in entrepreneurship from Washington, Missouri, Shane Becker. A sociology and journalism double major from Springfield, Missouri, Maggie Courtney. A pre-med psychology major with minors in biology and chemistry from Aurora, Aurora Colorado, Cherry Thostri Dodoponini. A journalism major with a certificate in media technology and design from St. Paul, Minnesota, Ellie Lynn. <laughs> a chemical engineering major with minors in math and chemistry from Kansas City, Missouri, Katherine McFarland. A strategic communication major with minors in Spanish and business administration from Fishers, Indiana, Kate Michael. An accounting major in the master's program from Clinton, Missouri, Katie Mitchell. A pre-law political science and constitutional democracy major with a minor in history from Alton, Illinois, Grace Knapp. A business administration major with a marketing emphasis from Independence, Missouri, Nicole Overbay. A biological sciences and psychological sciences double major with minors in chemistry, leadership, and public service from Dexter, Missouri, Kobe Powers. An animal science major with minors in Spanish and leadership and public service from Kansas City, Missouri, Chilean Rossboro. A political science major with minors in biology and Spanish from Fayetteville, Arkansas, Camila Sarvastani. A business administration major with marketing and economics emphasis from Belton, Missouri, Sarah Spencer. A biochemistry major with a Spanish minor from Wildwood, Missouri, Katherine Wanger. We have two honor TAPs to recognize in our 2023 TAP class who were selected by our current members for their contributions to students. These individuals exceed what is required of them in their service to the Mizzou community. First, Assistant Director of Choral Activities and Assistant Professor of Music Education, Dr. Brandon A. Boyd. Dr. Boyd received his Bachelor's of Science in Music Education from Tennessee State University and his Master's in Choral Conducting as well as his PhD in Choral Music Education from Florida State University. He is a passionate educator and an active composer, arranger, and professor. He is the curator and editor of the Brandon A. Boyd Choral Series to promote both new and established composers initiative works, innovative works. In 2020, he worked with the London Symphony Orchestra and was a guest clinician for the NAFMI All National Honor Choir. While clearly showing great representation of the creative and performing arts, he also serves the communities both in and outside of the Mizzou area. He is a member of the American Choral Directors Association, National Association for Music Education, National Association of Negro Musicians, American Guild of Organists, and Chorus America. He is, an, he is an exceptional leader and promotes scholarship continuously within himself along with his students. 
We are excited to announce Dr. Boyd as the Alpha Z Circle of Omicron Delta Kappa's faculty honor tap for 2023. And lastly, our staff honor tap for this year is the accommodations coordinator for the Disability Center, Mr. Edwin Davis. Edwin Davis received his bachelor's in classical humanities here at the University of Missouri, as well as his master's of higher education. In his time here as a student, he was involved around campus in many sectors of campus life, including choral union, and he was president of the LBC Gospel Choir. <laughs> he is an exceptional representation of multifaceted success and has been involved in many communities at Mizzou, both in the positions of student and staff. In his current job, he has dedicated himself to ensuring all people get an equitable and accessible education and exemplifies true leadership qualities without asking for recognition. He is passionate about making this campus a better place for everyone in it. With his fellow staff and the students Mr. Davis works with, he constantly shows empathy, patience, and understanding, making him a steadfast light shining at Mizzou. In every role he's had this time at this university, he displays kindness, reliability, and capability for those working with him and relying on him. We are honored to announce him as the Alpha Z Circle of Omicron Delta Kappa's 2023 Staff Honor Cup. Please give a final round of applause for our 2023 Honor Tap. We are grateful for all... <laughs> We are grateful for all that they have contributed to the university in the greater Columbia area, and we are proud to have them join our circle. We look forward to seeing what they accomplish in the remainder of their academic career and beyond. Once again, congratulations to the Omicron Delta Cap Tap Class of 2023. All righty. So in closing, in closing, I want to say again, congratulations, initiates. As we close the 96th TAP Day at the University of Missouri, I have a word to next year's initiates, many of whom I am sure are with us today in this room. At this moment, Societies near and far are being torn apart by conflicts, distrust, and violence. To meet these challenges, we need your resilience, your vision, and your leadership. My advice to you is one, collaborate. You can achieve more by working together. Raise each other up and celebrate each other's successes. Serve the greater good. Focus on the growth and well-being of your communities. Take care of your people and hold on to hope. Don't be discouraged by the difficulties you see around you. Be the light to those who are in need. So once more, thank you to this year's initiates for your contributions and to our campus, to our campus community. I'm looking forward to all the good that you will continue to do. Thank you, MIZ. <laughs> Have a great day and a great weekend. Thank you.